Hey, it's Tim, and you've likely heard about the recent changes to the real estate industry. Whether you saw these on social media or news headlines, or you saw an article from NAR directly from the horse's mouth, you have heard about these changes somehow, some way. And I thought I would send, spend a few moments in today's, this week's email, and share with you specifically what these changes mean for a home seller and what they mean for a home buyer. In fact, here in my hand, I hold two documents from NAR themselves, the National Association of Realtors, and it talks about what they mean for a buyer and a seller. I will paraphrase both for you very quickly, specifically for a home seller. If you are selling your property, not a lot changes overall. Number one, you still have the right to choose if you're going to compensate a buyer's agent. Number two, you also still can choose how much you wish to compensate a buyer's agent. The third, the, the third thing and what impacts you directly is moving forward from here on out, your listing agent cannot place that compensation inside of the multiple listing service. You will now, when you hire your agent, you will pinpoint and, and still identify how much you're going to compensate the agent for bringing the buyer to your property. And your listing agent will then communicate that to the buyer's agent what you're willing to pay them. So again, holistically, nothing there changes. Number one, you can choose to pay a buyer's agent or not. Number two, you can choose to decide how much you'll pay them. And then number three, the change is your agent cannot put that compensation in the MLS. It cannot go there any longer. For buyers, if you're buying a property, here's how the changes impact you directly, home buyers. Number one, if you're going to go into a property, it used to be you could just go see a house without hiring an agent or signing an exclusive buyer agency agreement effective as of August 17th, this past Saturday, before any agent can show you any property, he or she must have you sign an exclusive buyer agency agreement that was just saying that you are hiring this agent to show you property and to then negotiate in the events you want to write an offer on that property. Um, the buy, for buyers, your buyer's agent, they're still being compensated by the seller. The seller will have the right to choose how much they wish to pay the buyer's agent, and they've always had that choice, okay? And so that is how things shake out. For the buy side as well, one more nuance, and I don't think this is gonna happen because it just would not make sense. Home buyers, in the event, the home that you love, the seller tell their listing agent, we're not gonna offer the buyer's agent any commission uh, for bringing the buyer to your property zero. That would then mean your buyer's agent is gonna be working for you to buy the home you wanna buy for absolutely zero. So when you begin to interview buyer agents to help you buy your next property, ensure that when you have your buyer consultation that, number one, you discuss compensation, and number two, you have already worked out out how it's going to progress forward in the event the seller pays commission or does not pay commission. I believe arguably the seller is still going to be more favorable by offering age commission because what happens is this. If a buyer's agent has the right to choose to show their buyer property A, property B, or property C. If property A and B is offering a compensation to the agent for bringing a buyer, but property C says zero, that agent is not going to get paid for showing that property. And so technically, he or she may not want to show that home. Like This is how people feed their families and earn a living. And so I think holistically, most sellers, if not all sellers, will steal to this very day offer compensation as usual. And so again, I don't think from a grand scheme holistically, things will change that much. If you wish to have a copy of this document here from uh, NAR, let me know. I'll link them both below and get you a copy of those so you have them for your records to see them as well. And then secondly, and finally, if you have specific questions about the real estate market, how these will impact you directly, or number three, if you're thinking about selling your home and or buying a home and wanna say, Tim, what does does this mean for me specifically? Do me a favor, respond to this email or give me a call directly and I'm happy to help out. Numbers below, emails below. I'll talk to you soon and God bless. Bye-bye.